Um, I'm Education Services Coordinator for South Dakota Game Fish and Parks. And one of my jobs, in fact, it's one of the favorite parts of my jobs, is teaching people how to fish. But after you catch the fish, and I teach you how to clean the fish, then you need to learn how to cook the fish. So that's what we're going to do today. We're just going to do kind of a short little video and showing you two different ways um, that you can prepare your fish. This is going to be for catfish, walleye, panfish, or bass. This is the first method I'm going to show you. This is blackened fish. Blackened fish is a kind of a spicier fish. Um, it gives it a nice spicy taste if you like a little hotter. Kind of like if you're a hot wings kind of person, this is for you. It imparts a really good flavor on the, on the fish and it doesn't take long at all. It's extremely simple to do. First thing I'm going to show you is the walleye. This is a walleye that we caught a couple weeks ago. Um, nice couple of fillets and I cut it in smaller pieces. The blackened seasoning you can get in the spice aisle of um, Walmart or any grocery store that you might have and and it's uh, kind of Cajun, kind of hot, peppery, just a really nice flavor. It's, it's hard to explain but once you've had blackened fish um, you'll probably fall in love with it, especially good on catfish. The next ingredient is butter, um, good old butter. You could probably get by with margarine, but I would suggest butter. Um, you're going to put about three tablespoons of this in the pan, heat it up, and then what I like to do is I like to add just a little bit of olive oil. Now that you've seasoned both sides of the walleye, you want to put it in your pan. You want to make sure first though that your butter and your oil is nice and hot, and this is ready to go. Just kind of set it in your pan. Cover your little sizzle. Just want to cook it on this side for a few minutes. Do it very quickly, especially with these small pieces. After two or three minutes, you'll kind of notice it's getting a little white on the edge. You want to flip these, and you'll have to kind of get underneath them very carefully because they're fragile at this point. But make sure you have a pan ready with a paper towel just to kind of absorb any of the extra oil. I'm going to drain it off of there. Just nice and gentle. And there is your wonderful blackened walleye. Walleye, which is what I have here again. I have the other, uh, couple more fillets of walleye. Um, I'm going to show you how to fry this up. As for a batter, there's all different kinds of batters you can use. This is a real popular one is Shore Lunch. It's good with walleye. It's good, really good with catfish, um, any panfish or any bass. So it's a, it's, it's a great one. And they have different flavors, but this is the original recipe and this is Cajun. Once again, Cajun has a little more kick, a little more fire to it. And uh, just like with the blackened, I, we kind of prefer the, a little more kick in it, the Cajun style. Um, so read the box. What you need to do, you need to make an, whip it up an egg and put a little milk in there for an egg wash. And then take your um, shore lunch and put it in a pan because you're going to dredge through it. And then the a real important part is the oil. Probably the best oil to, put, to fry your fish in is peanut oil. I could not get peanut oil this time, so this is a mix between soy and peanut oil. But it's specifically for frying fish. You can use canola oil, you can even use lard if you want, but um, if you get a peanut oil it imparts just a really good flavor to that fish and it actually seems to make it a little crispier. So first thing you do is you take the piece of walleye and you kind of slop it in this milk mixture, milk egg wash, and then make sure you get it good and covered. There's easier ways to do this. You can put this in a plastic bag and drop it in a plastic bag and shake it up. Um, and then that just works perfect that way. So I'm going to do some of them here and then we're going to drop them in the fryer all at the same time and get them cooked up. What you want to do with your walleye is you don't want to overcrowd the basket. I like to have a little bit of space between them so that's just about enough for my fry baby to fry at the same time and then just drop it down into the hot oil. Now what you want to do is you don't want to get it burned, so shake it once in a while, and as you can see, that's perfectly brown, perfectly beautiful brown. This, this fish is ready. Fish does not take long to cook, especially when it's small like this. So I like to let it drain just a bit, and then once again have a pan with a paper towel in the bottom. 
and uh, kind of easy. You just all right, picking our fish looks perfect, perfectly brown. So let it just drain a little bit. And make sure once again you have a pan with a paper towel on it. And flip your fish in there. Sometimes it sticks a little bit. You just slip those out. And there's your wonderful fried walleye. Right, we just wanted to show you the final product. Um, we've got our blackened walleye, our fried walleye, wonderful asparagus that we picked out of the garden this morning, and rice pilaf. And it, I wish you could smell it. It smells wonderful. So now we're starving. We're going to sit down and eat. And as Julia Child says, bon appetit.